I'm Miranda with REI. There are a lot of different carabiners out there, so today we're going to talk about which ones are right for what uses. So there are a few different shapes of carabiners that you'll come across when you are choosing. The first are oval carabiners like this one, and then you have pear-shaped carabiners like this guy, and asymmetric D carabiners like this one. Oval carabiners are the original carabiners, and these are great because they give you a ton of room in the basket for racking gear, which makes them a good choice for aid climbing or any other time that you want to have a wide basket. One of the downsides of oval beaners is that they tend to be bulkier and a little bit heavier than the other shapes of carabiners, and you also run the risk of having your gear walk onto the weak axis of the carabiner. So carabiners are, have less than a third the strength on this weak axis as they do on the strong axis of the carabiner. So you really want to mitigate those risks of having your gear walk onto the weak axis. So that brings us to pear-shaped carabiners. So pear beaners are most often used as belay beaners or rappel beaners. And they have a ton of gate clearance here, which you don't get as much on the oval. And pear beaners have this wide flat basket again, which will help secure your belay loop or your uh, rope there. And again, these are most often used for rappelling or for belaying. And then the last type of shape that you'll come across are the asymmetric D carabiners. These are the real workhorses of carabiners. Most carabiners that you see are going to be an asymmetric D. Uh, these are smaller and they're a lot lighter than you get with the parabiners or the oval beaners. The benefit of these is that they have a ton of gate clearance like you get with the pear-shaped beaner, and they're designed in such a way that your gear will want to stay in the strong axis of the carabiner. Those are different shapes. So let's talk about the different gate types that you'll find on carabiners. And I'm going to divide them into two different groups. The first are locking carabiners like these guys, and then non-locking carabiners like these. So locking carabiners have a variety of different types of locks on them, but most often you'll come across a screw lock like this one, which is uh, open when the red is showing or when it's unscrewed, and then locked when you screw it. And then there are also uh, auto-locking carabiners like this guy. So this one has a twist lock on it, but there are lots of different types of auto-locking carabiners. Uh, the way to note these is that if you close it or if you let go of it, it's going to be locked as soon as you close it, whereas with the twist gate, you have to manually twist that before the carabiner is going to be locked and therefore at its maximum strength. So non-locking carabiners come in a variety of gate types as well. You'll find straight gate carabiners like this one, wire gate carabiners like this guy, and then bent gate carabiners like this one. Straight gate carabiners are probably the most common carabiners that you'll come across. Wire gates are great because they're a lot lighter than the straight gate carabiners. And then bent gate carabiners are most often used when you need to be able to clip this into a rope or into a sling, as the bent gate just makes it a little bit easier to clip. Within these non-locking carabiners, you also have a variety of different types of, or two different types of noses on the carabiners. Uh, the first is going to be this um, key lock style, and then the other is going to be this hook nose style here. So the hook nose carabiner, uh, you run the risk of getting gear caught in that hook there, whereas with the key lock style, this is a lot smoother, so you're less likely to get gear caught on the nose. And you can have that with wire gate carabiners as well. There's the hook nose, and here is the key lock style. And that's gate type. So I generally carry a pear beaner with a twist lock as my belay and rappel beaner. I generally prefer the twist lock over the auto locking carabiners just because the actual action of locking the carabiner uh, feels more intentional to me. And then I also carry a variety of the asymmetric D locking carabiners for building anchors. Uh, and then my, most of my draws will have a combination of wire gate and straight gate carabiners on them. Uh, and I always carry an extra straight gate asymmetric D carabiner as a bail beaner that I can just clip into a hanger and lower off of if I climb beyond my grade and leave some crag swag beyond for the next person. That's it for how to choose carabiners. If you have any other questions, check out our other climbing videos. As always, come by your local REI to talk to the experts there. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you later.